so hello everyone i am hoping to make this very short because this is a heavier topic than most and um i just don't want to make this topic uh too heavy or too long but i did want to talk about it because i think that it has been very relevant in my life um and i've seen it in other people's lives as well so i just wanted it to be known so hello everyone my name is Melanie if you're new here welcome welcome um so today I'm talking about if you saw little uh title um parents being parents um so how I got into this topic was Honestly, I just <laughs> thought about all the times where my parents thought that they had a handle on things and they thought that I had no idea that they were struggling. <clears throat> and um, I definitely knew. Even at a young age, I definitely was aware. Um, I think this also was because I was watching Mindhunters. And um, if you watch Mindhunters, Tench's little kid, like he's kind of like weird i don't know but um i'm pretty sure like when tench and nancy fight and stuff about him he's definitely aware of what's happening and he's definitely aware that you know like his dad is never home and um that kind of got me thinking too of just how you know there were certain times where we were financially struggling and my parents never talked about it but i knew I knew and they didn't have to tell me and um just for any parent out there or so, or anyone that wants to become a parent soon or who's going to become a parent soon um I think it's so so important to be very direct with your kids about what's happening I think children are more um understanding than what you think and like they understand you know that things might not be going well i think of course every child is different not every child will be the same and their minds are not fully developed but um these are events that cause trauma in children like these events where you are financially struggling or your parents are constantly fighting like these little things are put into your subconscious so then that's what you think your life is supposed to be or um that's where your life is going to be and then you have to become an adult and then figure out oh actually life is not like that and i have to um kind of take out all these generational courses from my life and make a new one and um i have to kind of figure out what i want and what seemed right and what didn't seem right and identify my trauma and go through that trauma and um yeah i think trauma is such a big subject and everybody has trauma and no one talks about it because of course it's taboo and it's you know scary to talk about it's like stuff that is deep 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 in there that you don't want to get out um and yeah i think that a lot of it comes from you know your parents <laughs> looking at your parents and looking at all their trauma that then transfers into your trauma so um yeah you know i think that i just wanted to open the conversation to that and also um you know notify parents that um the more transparent you are with your children the better clearly there are certain things that you just don't say but you know if you're in a financial situation or your relationships are not going as well or you're in something that you can get out of or any situation I think that you know being 
transparent with their children and saying, hey, listen, like, this is happening. Um, it's kind of better than not saying anything and just letting them think that that's the best decision or that that is what you do as an adult. Um, because then it just it just becomes a cycle and I'm not no psychologist I definitely don't have any kind of psychology degree this is just from my experience and seeing people and including myself doing things that um, our parents used to do uh, and then trying to fix that trauma so yeah I'm curious to know uh, what people think about this topic and um, how they kind of deal with their trauma, if they deal with their trauma, or um, if they even identify any of their traumas. I know that um, sometimes it's kind of harder to do it, but um, yeah, I'm just curious. So thank you guys for watching. This was a shorter video than usually what I do, but thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.